Hi, this is Mrs. Thompson, and today I'm going to go over the overall process of sterilization. So as a CA, you um, are required to wear these nice purple kitchen gloves and when you carry around this bucket to collect the instruments. So when you come into the sterilization room, you can set it here and then you put the instruments into the ultrasonic machine. And cassettes need to be buttoned up and then all other instruments can just be thrown in and then you're going to make sure this is full and then turn the knob to 15 minutes. Then whenever they're all finished, you take it in here and rinse this off really well. And they, um, then you will dry off the instruments with the towels that are here. And there are a few instruments that need special care and we'll go over that in another video. So after these instruments are good and dry, including the cassettes, the cassettes you'll wrap in a towel and dry off and kind of shake it off. And then you'll bring it over here, make a pile, and you will bag them up. Now with the bags, it's important to um, fold the bags at the perforated line and seal them like this. If they're not properly sealed, then they do not get um, cleaned in the autoclave as well. So that's something really important to make sure. And then once they're bagged, you put your initial, the date, and if there's any special information needed, you put that on this piece of tape and then seal it and put it into this um, cart. So then after that, you'll take the instruments and load them onto a tray. Make sure for one, that it's labeled with the autoclave it's going into. The one closest to the window is one, and this is two. So you're going to label the instruments as such. So this one's gonna go in one, and I'll label it like, label it like this, and put it paper side up. And um, you can put them with the papers overlapping, like this, but you cannot put the instruments on top of each other because they will not get properly cleaned either. So you can just load up the tray, and then when you're finished, you'll put it in there, and you will run the autoclave. And when it's complete, you'll take out the instruments like this. You'll take this little instrument, and you'll put it up, slide it under, pull out the instruments, and put them on the clean area. It's really important to never put dirty instruments in the clean area because that causes cross-contamination. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening.